The culinary landscape of this did not prevent raids by the South African police in search of ag operatives. Artistic expressions serve as vibrant hues that paint the nation's identity. From traditional ceremonies that resonate with rhythmic dance to contemporary manifestations of creativity, the artistic landscape encapsulates the dynamic interplay between heritation, evidentiation, Evolving currents of artistic exploration, diversification of economic strategies. Amidst the economic tapestry, Eswatini explores avenues for diversification, acknowledging the imperative of resilience in the face of global economic shifts. Efforts to expand beyond traditional economic pillars are evident with a strategic gaze of adaptability and foresight navigating the complexities of a globalized economics. A Veswatini undergoes a continuous evolution mirroring global trends while retaining its unique cultural nuances. The intersection of tradition and modernity shapes social dynamics with shifts in gender roles, educational aspirations, and community structures reflecting the nuanced interplay between a riches as a cornerstone of Eswatini's ethos with sustainable conservation pride worship emerges as at the forefront. Beyond borders, finding expression in national parks and reserves. Eswatini's dedication to environmental sustainability becomes a testament to the recognition that the well-being of its natural landscapes is intertwined with the prosperity of its people. Healthcare initiatives and global collaboration. The healthcare landscape in Eswatini Health crises the interconnectedness of global well-being. The nation's response to health, to global global global, from his AIDS awareness to collaborative efforts with international organizations, shaping the trajectory of healthcare. Educational empowerment and knowledge transmission. Educational institutions emerge as crucibles of empowerment, fostering a culture of knowledge transmission that spans generations. The nurturing of intellects and the transmission of wisdom align with the vision an empowered citizenry contributing to the nation of elemental and tapestry, diplomatic engagements, and regional relations. Eswatini's diplomatic engagements unfold against the backdrop of regional relations with a recognition of the interconnectedness that defines the Southern African landscape. Bilateral and multilateral collaborations become instrumental in navigating geopolitical complexities, positioning Eswatini as an active gastronomic delights, the culinary tapestronomic delights, the culinary f and gastronomic delights. From the savoring of staple foods like maize to the communal aspects of preparing and sharing meals, culinary traditions become a mirror reflecting the communal spirit and cultural richness of the Swazi people. Each day.
dish narrates a story embodying the intersection of history, tradition, and the sensory pleasures of communal dining, cultural diplomacy, and global representation. In the global arena, see, and judicial forms, appreciation for the nation's traditions. Eswatini's representation to a broader narrative that embraces diversity and mutual respect in the global community, technological integration and digital innovations, embracing the currents of technological evolution, Eswatini integrates digital innovations into its developmental fabric from advancements in communications to initiatives, advancements while preserving the core values that define Eswatini's unique identity. Civic Engagement and Grassroots Movements At the grassroots level, civic engagement becomes a dynamic force shaping the nation's discourse. Grassroots movements, fueled by a desire for inclusivity and social justice, find expression into the ongoing narrative of a nation that seeks to empower its city, the Chibi Chibi Stalatin, to stirring. Verge of Famine, the Yes also saw a great deal of civil action in favor of democracy put pressure on the king to change his state structure. The first parliamentary elections in the kingdom were held in. Opposition parties were, however, illegal and in the National Assembly, homes of the prime minister and vice, Chancellor of the University of Switzerland were burned down during riots. Towards the end of, the king's powers were slightly reduced and Tafrika elections were held in, but the king still held most of the power. Opposition parties were still banned and unions began organizing strikes and bans on imported goods. In answer, the government restricted trade union activities. The Public Order Act was also passed and forbids party politics in the king's the system of rule. The king prohibited men from attending the system of rule. The king prohibited men from a changed system of rule. Then can change having sex with teenage girls for years in an attempt to stem the spread of AIDS. Another drought struck in, and the United Nations undistributed food assistance. The drought continued unabated and in. The Prime Minister declared a humanitarian crisis. The landlocked kingdom of Switzerland is surrounded on the north and south by South Africa, and on the east is bordered by Mozambique. The kingdom provides travelers the ideal Baituito, no better Robuto. Discovering a whole new country filled with bygone African traditions and Swazi culture. Swaziland covers an area of approximately kilometers from north to south and kilometers from east to west. Small as it may be, Swaziland is an exciting tourist destination with its arts and crafts outlets and traditional markets and wildlife reserves. A millwine wildlife sanctuary tame birds visitors, a opportunity of game viewing by water through the guides.
To Swaziland is the casinos located at the Royal Swazi Spa Complex, in the heart of the Azulwini Valley, between Mabavin and Manzini. North of Mabane, the road to Louvre is known as Pine Valley with a series of waterfalls on the Black Umbalusi River and the granite heights of Bald Rock. The drive to Pig's Peak in the north is one of the most scenic in the country. The Malaloja National Park lies to the west of the wood and here after Vols, the highest to land, Internationally renowned hotels and a number of thermal springs where visitors can relax and unwind. Most are located at Azulwini. Eswatini or Swaziland, often called Lingwain or Swatini, is landlocked country in southern Africa. South Africa borders the country to the north, south and west and Mozambique to the Mozambique to the north, south and west and Mozambique to the Africa and Mozambique to the Zanzibar. East Rye.